Okay, we'll try this again so I don't have to edit a video. I'll just shoot it all over. This is the Latte Panda uh, Windows 10 single board computer. Um, HDMI out, HDMI to VGA converter, USB keyboard and mouse, Ethernet cable to the smooth stepper, and this is the power cord. Also built onto this board beside the quad core atom processor is an Arduino coprocessor. I am not using it at this time. So this is Windows 10 running Mach 4 uh, in demo mode. The TAG controller and my smooth stepper interface box. The TAG mill. Uh, when I recorded this previously, I didn't have the Z height set right, so it didn't actually engrave much. We're going to try it again. See if I can get this to focus. Yeah, that's not doing a very good job focusing. Here you can get the idea. Since we're uh, at my work at the university, we are engraving a little Missouri ST logo. And I apologize for the video quality. This is just on my cell phone. It's not the greatest. Stink back over here to the Mach 3 screen. So I just have, uh, I just set this up yesterday. It is just a basic setup. I don't have anything fancy working with it. It's just enough to run G-code and turn the spindle on and off and cut everything to the right size at the right speed. So, this is our Latte Panda board again. The Ethernet connection runs back there and over to this box, which is a box I build. It houses a Ethernet smooth stepper, emergency stop switch, and power switch. The power switch and emergency, the power switch feeds the emergency stop, which feeds the AC outlet on the back, which powers this guy, which is the take stepper control box. So if there's an emergency, you hit the emergency stop and this dies too, which is a good thing. Um, you might have noticed the mill kind of sounds like it has a bag of marbles in it at some point. Uh, it, it takes controllers in all the half-step style. So at low feed rates and doing a lot of uh, contours like this, it kind of sounds crunchy. Just an artifact of the half-step drive at low speeds. Now you can see we have something a little more of the logo. This is the two color plastic. So it's a white front with a black background and there's a clear protective sheet. This, uh, this text here is just printing on the clear sheet on the front. So here. Uh, this is an old lab bench. I have the new one that I have available. Uh, this enclosure, so if I can get back a little further, it's just something I whipped together out of scraps to replace the last one. And this super fancy plastic drip tray right here was made for a washing machine. I used to have a drain light, but it didn't work out so well, so it was just popped up. And there we go. We are all done. So, what? Jog the mill up. Well, maybe you can hear me now that it's no longer running. We'll get that up out of the way. Get that out here. Let's see if we can peel most of this plastic off here real quick. So, 
Yeah, there's some of it that really likes to stick, but you probably don't want to watch me peel that off there. That is the logo. I'll try to take a higher depth picture of it and post that too.